And apparently, if you have Winnie the Pooh, your videos won't be shown in the Chinese mainland. Now, this shows the power of the arts to undermine authoritarianism. Okay? And this piano has inadvertently become a symbol of artistic freedom. And I would say, even though the situation we had uh, in the station had its comic elements, it had some serious issues on the mind of it. It goes all over the world. As I said, it's taken from the people who in Taiwan, in Taiwan, and anyone who suffers from uh, oppression. Um, the people who are involved in the we all know who they are. They are living Western lifestyles, but having a communist authoritarian ideology, a complete paradox. And I think this video has shown in an entertaining and accessible way what these authoritarian cultures are like when they meet Western cultures. It was a clash of cultures, this video. A clash of cultures in a 10 minute drama, a mini parable about freedom, artistic freedom. This piano has become a CCP free zone. Yesterday, there was people from Hong Kong here, God bless Hong Kong, glory be to Hong Kong, and the people who were on the Hong Kong video, their YouTube channel was immediately deleted. The whole YouTube, just because they sang Glory to Hong Kong, which again has been banned by the CCP. Now, I've learned so much in the past few days, uh, but I completely support the arts to undermine authoritarianism. So as I said, God bless you all. Thank you for supporting this video. And, uh, Remember that the arts, even popular arts like Boogie Woogie, Rock and Roll, and Winnie the Pooh, have the ability to undermine authoritarian cultures. It's not just political activism, it's actually the arts which they are afraid of. Winnie Zizi is fighting the Winnie. Can you believe it? The, the Red Army is fighting the Winnie the Pooh because what they were doing, they were comparing Zizi to Winnie. They said that he looked a bit similar. CZ's feelings were hurt 
and so he banned Winnie the Pooh completely from mainland China. So Winnie the Pooh has also become a symbol of freedom, artistic expression, in the face of unjust authoritarianism. So this event, even though it was comic, even though Nasty Newton has become a meme, it, it was the strides and effects par excellence this video. You all know the strides and effect. The strides and effect is when you try and keep something quiet and it has an opposite effect. This video is the epitome of the strides and effect. Nasty Newton, we all know who they are. He has become famous. Apparently he's been spotted in the street and being asked for his autograph. Okay, we all know who they are. I don't want to direct hate at them. God bless them. I completely forget, forget and forget. But if you act in an authoritarian way, your karma is not too long in catching up with you. So I am here to support artistic freedom. I'm not into politics, I'm not a politician, but I am into the arts, I am, in, I am into musical expression, and this has taught me how music is feared by authoritarians, how Winnie the Pooh is feared by authoritarians. For goodness sake, you're a dictator and you're fighting the Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I'm mine, my goodness. So God bless you all. Uh, glory to Hong Kong. I totally support the Taiwanese and I totally support artistic expression. This piano was trying to, the expression was the little pigs tried to shut us down. They failed miserably. I didn't even know what little pig meant until two days ago. Okay? And I think that if you don't know what little pig means, look it up. So God bless you all. This has been a flow for artistic freedom. This piano has become a CCP little pig free zone. God bless you all. Thank you for this one. I'm going now. Oh, I'm happy, I'm here, happy just for five minutes to answer any questions if you want me to answer any questions. If not, guys in the chat, do you have any questions? Any questions? Because I'm going to Yes. I told you, of course, I mean, I saw the video yesterday of the people here who are seeing Lloyd's Hong Kong, and I do know that their YouTube channel, their whole YouTube channel was deleted. So they came here, sang that beautiful song, and within a few hours, their YouTube channel, not just the, the video, but the whole channel was deleted. What is going on um, that uh, in, in, in Great Britain, if you see Lloyd from Hong Kong, your YouTube channel will be deleted? So I think this brings up the of speaking in power in Western countries. Again, I'm not a politician. I'm not a politician. I don't want to be a politician. I always clearly say people should get involved in politics. But I've been just thrust into the middle of this. All my, my, my goal is that people should have the freedom to express themselves how they want without being deleted, without being cancelled, without being threatened, without being shouted at, without being thrown into the camps, without being in fear of their life. And we've shown, and we, we've seen yesterday, even at the time of the glory to Hong Kong people, that they've been deleted and cancelled. We've seen that the whole of was cancelled. How comes the CCP have the power to delete YouTube channels? Is it the little pigs who are saying you multiple complaints? Well, I don't know. But I, I, my attitude, I'm, I'm absolutely disgusted, and it's opened my eyes to what is going on here. It's a special glory to Hong Kong. And if people want to see glory to Hong Kong, let them. Yeah. Do I feel insecure about what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, when this first happened, there was no conspiracy going around. As you know in the video, the lady said, don't shoot him. 
go shooting. And it's not a conspiracy theory to realise that there are CCP spies, Chinese spies, often in the UK. First of all, the theory was that the, the shouty guy was, was actually a handler. It turns out that we, know, we all know who he is, I'm not going to mention him, but uh, he seems pretty low level. He's made a global call of himself. Um, but I have had people saying that I should say that I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling suicidal and I'm feeling quite. How you doing, mate? How you doing, darling? You all right? Yeah, so yeah, I'm not feeling suicidal, I'm in good health. And uh, yeah, initially there was a few people that were very frightened for me. Um, and there was all sorts of double meanings in the video. But I think we found out who's involved. And they seem to be basically little pinks enjoying a Western lifestyle while retaining a communist authoritarian ideology. So no, I'm not engaged. I don't plan on going to China anytime soon though, I must tell you. Sorry, you did this session, please? Wow. Wow. There we go. Here we've got somebody else that I'm not. It's right, darling. You've got freedom of expression. <laughs> right, she's, but here we go. So we've got somebody else now calling the police. So we're not allowed to do this. So we've already yeah. seen the CC crew. Now we've got to come back with the police. You might come back with Kerry. I'll probably yeah. get a scoop. We're going to have another Kerry. You've got to get the police. Yeah. Stay there, everyone. We'll get another viral. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> make this up, Richard. We've got someone getting the police already. Anyway, next question. Any more questions? Yeah. Wearing a lanyard with with an official form, and if you have it, people get very upset. I'm all about freedom of expression without permission. If you're not doing something illegal, if you're not doing something that's a danger and it's, a, it's bringing joy to people, you should be allowed to do it. Because some people are just threatened by the fact that when we turn up, there's a few cameras here, and she says you're not allowed to do this. So my thing is, I'm just going to continue supporting free music. I'm going to continue supporting the arts. I'm actually going to educate myself about the Chinese and the Chinese situation. I have to stress, I'm not a politician. I don't want to be into politics. I'm all about artistic freedom. And this video that we did, that's gone viral all around the world, has been a mini parable about artistic freedom. Elton's piano has become a symbol of freedom of expression. Who would have thought it? So I'm just going to continue as normal, doing my thing, and encouraging others to do their thing. I'd also be encouraged to to look into the Chinese situation and the situation at the time on these, to look at the situation in Hong Kong, because we're not, I wasn't familiar with it until I faced the front of the little pigs. So investigate it, let's keep the arts free, I'm just going to continue doing what I've always done, bringing joy to people, playing the piano in public, encouraging others to dance and sing in public, and enjoying our free values of our, our, our culture in the Western world and opposing any authoritarian ideologies that seek to undermine it. Any other questions? <laughs> Is that it? Seriously. <laughs> 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 I'm not telling you because uh, I'm not <laughs> it's a secret. I'm keeping, I'm, I'm, it just in case. I, I, I have had a few people saying to me I, I should just keep my location a little bit quiet and things settle down. So I'm not telling I like to turn up like a scarlet. <laughs> Stress. Yeah. Uh, initially, I think the, the stress of this is a good question. The stress of it first came up in the first two days because I didn't know what we were doing with it because I didn't know who the people were. And uh, there was a, an ambiguity in the video. The issue about the video was when we were shooting the video, halfway through, we know the lady, that, uh, I know her name, I'm not going to say her name. She, she shouted, all right, God bless. She shouted, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. And like the idea was going around that I got it from Chinese people that he could have been a diplomat and diplomats of course were allowed to be armed and that she might be saying don't shoot him. Now uh, well initially not I don't now. I don't now but for the first two days there was that's this ambi I, I put it out there there was an ambiguity where she said don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. And somebody said, Did you hear that? And the idea was that he could have been armed. Now I don't think he was. We know who he is, we know who they are, and they seem to be pretty low level little peeps. Um, but for the first few days it was pretty scary. 
and I did go quiet. <laughs> I don't think so now because the video's got so much attention. I mean, the oxygen of publicity actually provides you with a safety net. You know, the more people that see the video, the more safe you are in a sense. Um, immediately when I went home, there was a privacy complaint set that evening, which I ignored. There's been two more complaints against the video. One last night. They are desperately trying to take the video down. They've already taken down the Hong Kong chat, the free Hong Kong guy. And uh, they really, but I've asked everyone who's watching this to download the video. I've relinquished the copyright on the video. Um, so if it's taken down by YouTube, um, Let's have a mass upload to YouTube. It's a privacy, a privacy, a privacy complaint. They, they say they, they don't have their permission. Look, it's a load of BS. Okay, but they've sent it to me. They want the video to take off. Every time they try to get against me, the video gets bigger. Right? So I've got, I've got three. It's a miracle the video is still up. But I think so many people it's going to be an even greater embarrassment. So this video has been a major embarrassment for the CCP. It's been a major embarrassment for the little people living in the Western world, enjoying their lovely Western lifestyle. We've seen the people involved in the video. They have a lovely lifestyle. They go to all sorts of places, enjoying all the fruits of Western democracy. Yet when they come here, it is, do as I say, not punch up. So this is the paradox of that video. These little pigs over in Western society, enjoying all our freedoms, enjoying our restaurants, enjoying our culture, enjoying our music, enjoying our clubs. But they adopt an authoritarian mindset. So this is the paradox. They, they think their bluff has been pulled. They have totally lost face. I've heard in Chinese culture, the concept of losing face is quite big. These guys have totally lost face. I don't know if they can ever show themselves in public again, particularly in the Chinese community. Um, but yeah, for the first few days, I, was in I don't think I'm in danger now. But just for the record, I'm not feeling suicidal. I'm in great form. My health is really good. Any more questions? Try to take revenge of you. I, I yeah, have, this, this is a good test. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, I've had some really sinister emails, right? I've had some, that's, that's which I haven't thing. revealed, really sinister and threatening emails. Right? Oh, yeah. I have, I have, and I haven't revealed them because I don't want, I don't want to upset people and I don't, but really sinister emails. Okay? I might reveal them, but I, I have had things on the dark web and all sorts of stuff. I haven't, I haven't said it publicly simply because I, Take them with a pinch of salt, and I don't know if they're genuine. Uh, no, I haven't reported them, but yeah, I have had threats. I have had threats. Um, yes, but I haven't. I haven't had a copy so I haven't been doing it. Um, because when the information about the people who did this came out, it seemed to me clear that they were little pinks. They were low-level CCP propagandists, um, you know, associated with the Confucius Institute in London. Um, uh, you know, basically influencers trying to get a positive narrative for communism. In, but I have had several threatening letters on my life. I haven't, I haven't reported it to the police. I haven't made it public. But yeah, but I, I don't know. I'm not taking them seriously. To be honest, I'm just, you know, what, what will be will be. God is in control. Carry on. Yes. That, 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 that's all I'm going to say about it. But yeah, I've had that. I think some people would be seriously freaking out in my position. Uh, yeah. But because I've been involved in social media for such a long time, I've had, so, you know, I, I kind of take a lot on social media with a pinch of salt. I think if you weren't used to social media or YouTube, you would be completely freaked out by some of the things that I've seen. But, um, yeah, some of them are dark and threatening, very dark. But we'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave that. If the video goes down, I might reveal them. But at the moment, I'm just not going to reveal them because I don't think they're genuine. And, uh, the information about the people involved has come out and they don't seem to be uh, too threatening. But I'll, I'll just leave that. Now. Any other questions? Uh, I think uh, we might have to okay. with that. All All right. Right. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very and, much. Uh, I just want to let you know, you know, that a lot of people love you. you know? From where? A lot of people around the world, they love I, I, you. you know? I know. They, like, they, they like you. you know? I know they do. I mean, it's, it's like, look, Winnie okay. the, the Pooh. Uh, who could have thought if I was walking through China like this, if I was walking through China like this, could, I was going to go to, I was actually going to have a trip to China all wearing, dressed as Winnie the Pooh, wearing Winnie the Pooh, wearing the, you know, the Tiananmen Square number, 86, you know the number, um, and just completely be, I'd probably be locked up in the gulag, you know, 
but uh, this no, is what the communists are afraid of. We need the poo. How sad is that? You know, all their credibility. If you are, listen, if you are frightened of Winnie the Pooh, you must be some kind of sado. I'm sorry, ZZ. If you are frightened of Winnie the Pooh, what are you talking about? Your credibility is gone, my friend. Um, so Winnie the Pooh is like garlic to a vampire when you come to these little pictures. These little pictures. So as I said, I'm not a politician. I have no intention of becoming political. I've just been thrust into a political situation with the whole CCP, communist authoritarianism. And for me, the whole takeaway from this is the power of the arts, particularly popular arts like Winnie the Pooh, Boogie Woogie, singing and, and dancing at the piano, to frighten dictators. Unbelievable, you know. Uh, and this, as I said, Elton's piano has become a symbol of artistic freedom, uh, a, a CCP free zone. And the arts, remember, the arts have power, the arts, um, can often do more than political campaigns. That's basically what I'm going to say. God bless you all. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We haven't had any communist fights today, so I think I'm okay. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Who's, who, who, has, who, has the, who has the Winnie the Pooh? I don't want to take care. There you go. I'm going to leave, leave it at that. So, actually, I might do one more song. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Let's find out the CCP. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you we need security to check it out you know. oh, I'll do one more song with I've got Winnie the Pooh one more song that's it my last song I'm losing my voice